honestly, I think this is the best anime film we've had in a long time since Toy Story 3. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon 2. The sequel to How to Train Your Dragon. If you've not seen the first movie, it's a good movie. Honestly, the first movie to me, um, I wasn't a huge fan of when I first watched it. I watched it again and I liked it. And honestly, the first movie, it, it is a good anime film. It's not the best one, though. But it is a really good movie. But this one. <laughs> I teared up. Oh my gosh, I love this movie. I walked out of this movie wanting to see it again. This is a good movie. This is better than the first one. The story is Hiccup. He's older now. He's in, I think he's like early 20. He, in the first movie, he lost his foot. He has no foot. I love when sequels or movies do that to the main character and they're like, they like, they do stuff to the main character that I think, oh, he loses something. So he has no foot in this movie. And he's he's 20 and he's older and he's he's an awesome character. He in the first movie he was a he was hiccup. He was a little tall he was a little tiny hiccup. Now he, he's like a pretty much a young adult. And he's gonna take over as the um the main dude. Since his dad's gonna retire or something like that. And I don't wanna spoil it anymore, but he's gonna he's becoming the next king, you could say, for his forest and everything. Well, for not for his village. And so, he has these dragons. The whole village has dragons. All the army people have dragons and everything. They use them for a lot of stuff. Even battles and everything. And then there's this villain dude, who in my opinion is probably the least part of this movie. He, um, he, he's taking the dragons. He's getting all these dragons to go to war and take, he's trying to take all the dragons and be the biggest dude ever. Kind of like villain types like that. The villain, he's like, He's like in movies, you know, when the character, the villain's small and you don't hear about it a lot, and then by the end of the movie, he's really a good villain. I, this is that movie, totally. He was totally a small character. Now in, the, in this movie, he's a huge thing. But that's the main story. Hiccup is trying to become the the king dude, and he's growing up. He's got to take with everything, but he doesn't want to do that. He just wants to be with um Toothless. By the way, Toothless and Hiccup. Best relationship ever. They, they really focus on the relationships and characters, all everything. There's there's more development with Hiccup's mother, which I'm not gonna spoil. Which is by which is voiced by Kate Blanchett, who did a really good job for Blue Jasmine, by the way. But there's more to it, and I don't want to spoil it. First thing first, the action in this movie is intense. I saw this movie in 3D. You really feel like you're up there with the dragon and Hiccup. It was awesome. It was great 3D. I could actually say it for a 3D movie. The cinematography, really good. The animation was beautiful. It was really good animation. Like, really good. Like, it was really good. But the characters and the stories, what really makes this movie strong, the story expands. That's what needs to happen to a sequel. 22 Jump Street, they didn't expand the story pretty much. They did the same type of story. This movie. They expanded it to the max and did an amazing job. The characters have more development. You like the characters. I like when movies do that. The first movie they explain all the characters. The second one they add a little more development and more backstory. That's what they did to Hiccup in this movie. And you already know the characters and you just gotta go on them with this adventure. And it was an exciting and awesome animated film. It made me tear up in one part. God, I, I got some back on the way home. I, you really tear up. I was like, yeah, that was sad as hell. That was that was a touching moment. This movie is full of good, like good voice acting too. I can't think of one problem with this movie except for the villain. The villain, I just feel like they could have done something really more with it to get the villain, but they still did a good job. How it was small at first and then became big. I like that. This sequel completely. I beat the first one. This sequel did what a sequel needs to do. These every movie who wants to make a sequel, look at this movie. Expand the story, make the characters even deeper, make them better, and that's what they did. Hiccup is now one of the best animated characters to really watch. In the first movie, he was a small kid, and this, he's a young adult who's a badass. This movie is more than good. This movie is a must see. The only reason I didn't get this movie right away is because of computer problems, by the way, I forgot to mention that. 
But this movie, in my opinion, is the best animated film we've had since Toy Story 3. And yes, that means I think it's better than Wreck-It Ralph, Brave, um, Frozen. I think it's better than Frozen. I really, really like this movie. I really want to see it again. It's, if you want to see a good movie right now, see this. Edge of Tomorrow, X-Men. That's all I can think of right now. Oh, I can go see Toy Jump Street if you want, but see this movie. This movie, I am proud to present a good rating for a second time in a week in a row. I'm giving this movie a good 10 out of 10. And if you don't know what 10 out of 10, that means my ratings are 1 through 5. 5 being the highest, making a really good movie. 10 out of 10 means it's a, one of the best films of the year, and it's one of my favorites. That's what 10 out of 10 means if you don't know what it means for me. But my, my scale rating is 1 through 5. 10 out of 10, perfect movie. Love it. Go see this movie. It is awesome. See in 3D. The 3D is really good in this movie. Animation, beautiful. God, this movie is so good. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this movie, you please see this movie. Go see um all the other movies I said. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.